Hello, how are you? I am Hina from Team TESS. Guys, gate exam is coming up. And we at TESS are bringing out an exclusive book of question answers to help you with this exam. In fact, Kalyani Ma'am has an online course as well as an online quiz program for GATE. So here we thought that we will begin with a series of question answer discussion to help you with GATE. Okay, is that a good idea? I'm sure it is. All for your gain, right? So let's begin. In this session, I will have five questions. I'll tell you the answer and also the explanation behind the answer. Added knowledge never hurts, right? Okay, so let's begin. And before that, I have to tell you, if you want to contact us for any of the programs related to GATE, for book, for online course, or for online quiz, you can contact us on this number, 93878-39871. Okay, chalu kare. Let's begin. Question number one. Who wrote Hymns in Darkness? Your options are A. Nisim Ezekiel, B. Shiv K. Kumar, C. Kamala Das, or D. Raja Rao. Hymns in Darkness. Who do you think wrote it? It is a question from Indian writers in English. You got it right. It is option A, Nisim Ezekiel. Well, do you know when was this book published? Which year? 1976. And it ridicules the common weaknesses of modern man. Okay, let's move on to question number two. Here it is. Who speaks the following lines in Macbeth? That which hath made them drunk hath made me bold. What hath quenched them hath given me fire. Hark, peace. Your options are option A, Macbeth. Option B, Lady Macbeth. Option C, Banquo. Or option D, Macduff. British literature. Of course you know it, right? You know it. It is option B, Lady Macbeth. Okay, do you know these lines are taken from Act 2, Scene 2 of the play Macbeth, Shakespeare's great tragedy. Now, what Lady Macbeth means with these lines, that which had made them drunk, had made me bold. What she means is the liquor, you know, which has made the servants dizzy and drunk. That liquor has given her fire and now she is ready to kill King Duncan right okay tell me tell me something do you remember the great tragedies of shakespeare do you yes hamlet othello king lear macbeth perfect <laughs> let's move on to question number three on your screens on an exceptionally hot evening early in july a young man came out of the garret in which he lodged in S place and walked slowly as though in hesitation, hesitation towards K bridge. These are the opening lines of option A, crime and punishment, option B, Anna Karenina, option C, war and peace, or option C, death in Venice. These are the opening lines of which book? You remember, do you remember? Yes, you do. It is by Russian author, Fyodor Dostoevsky. It is option A, crime and punishment. Well, a little bit about this novel. It was first published in 12 monthly installments, okay, in the year 1866. It was only in the year 1867 that it was published as a single volume, okay? It is by this great Russian author, Fyodor Dostoevsky, okay? Good enough. Let's move on. Here we come to question number four. A very succinct didactic story about human beings in prose or verse that illustrates one or more instructive lessons or principles is called option A, fable, option B, parable, option C, exemplum, or option D, allegory. Tell me, which of this is succinct? didactic, talks of human beings in prose or words, 
instruct lessons, principles. You know, this is one of Jesus's favorite device as a teacher. You got it right. The answer is option B, parable. Do you remember the important parables of Jesus? Do you remember the examples? Well, they are the parables of the good Samaritan and that of the prodigal son. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you like the question answers here, and if you want to order your own book for gate, you can contact us. Okay. You can contact on the number. Let's move on to the last question of the day. Who of the following was not a poet laureate of England? Listen to the options. A. Alfred Austin. B. Andrew Motion. C. Thomas Wharton. Or D. Seamus Heaney. Who is not a poet laureate of England has never been. Remember, Austin, Motion, Wharton, Heaney. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? It is D. Seamus Heaney. He's an Irish writer, right? And... Can you tell me the tenure? Let's move back, okay, to this page. Do you know their tenures as poet laureates? Can I tell you? Well, Alfred Austin was poet laureate from 1896 to 1913. Andrew Motion was poet laureate of England from 1999 to 2009. While Wharton was poet laureate from 1785 to 1790. Okay, you got it. I hope these questions helped you. And of course, we are planning to bring more such sessions for your practice. Question answers are the best way to learn, right? Your concepts are clear. Then you come to question answer discussion. It helps you a lot. Hmm? And I need to tell you, if you want to start with an online course with Kalyani Ma'am or an online quiz, or if you want to order this book of GATE, you should contact us on 938783987 it was great teaching you i am hina from team test see you soon again with another set of question answers bye